Okay, we got a raid from both players. Let's get started with a game number one. In three, two, one. Tetris. Tyler, 12-8-B. Thank you for the follow. Neto saying it's 11 p.m. in Brazil. Alex T's glasses remembered, uh, reminded me to put my own blue light blocking glasses. Thanks, Alex. And then he immediately takes them off. So there you go. Shake QC once again with the 3 2 1 bits. Badger plays on YouTube saying thrilling Tetris action. I love you, Nightbot. Don't be angry at me. Well, Nightbot is angry at everybody. Potbelly. I've heard of it, but I've never had it before. Usually when I talk about, like, sandwiches, there's always one person that brings up which witch. That is a sandwich place, right? I don't I don't know. I'm not in Philly, so. One sixty-four for Alex, one thirty for Gerald. I have a gift card from there. The veggie is so good. Bro, shout us to vegetables. Daily reminder to eat your vegetables. Drink your water. And uh, get a good night's sleep. Paro. Maybe if I make my message real big by typing in all caps, I can see myself on Gerald's phone. <laughs> Badger Place asked me, how many pro foot rollers are there now? Pumpy Heart saying seven. I didn't even know there was seven. I, I assume there was more. Like, I feel like everyone in their mother foot rolls now. 335 for Alex, 319 for Gerald. Fish Scrap, thank you for the follow. Do you think, like... Do you think Gerald is reading any of this right now? Alex, at 459, 413 for Gerald. My favorite fall vegetable is the sweet potato. Michelle Obama. Oh, there you go. Fun fact there. 440, 462 for Alex. So we are getting closer into the 19 speeds. So, for those of you just tuning in, 
tomorrow we will be finishing the quarterfinals. It'll be between Dog versus Dan V, and then uh, Pixel Andy versus Fractal. That'll be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard. Ryan with the five bits saying orange, 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 or car, orange. Gerald Trendage is at 560, so does Alex. So Gerald gets the first Tetris in the 19 speeds. Bit of a drop there for Gerald at 613. Alex with the Lombard dependency. He had to close down that Lombard dependency right before the Lombard showed up. Now creates a hole in his stack. Does play on the Tetris at 621. But another Lombard dependency solved there from Alex. Creates another hole in his stack, but it is clean now. Opens up his right well. Alex is actually our reigning champion, right? Who's our champion? Oh, dog, dog. Alex was in the finals, though. He was in the finals. He got swept. Alex T got swept in the finals. What a loser. 744 for Alex. 8, 8, 808 for Gerald. So Gerald took with a 60,000 point lead. Bangs on the Tetris now at 903. Gerald, two more Tetrises will get the max out. As Alex is trying to burn this down a little bit, trying to open up his right wall. Still not getting the right pieces for it. Still burning and now behind by almost 100,000 points. Gerald brings this lead up to 100,000. Alex at 914. So it looks like a definitive 94,000 point lead here for Gerald. Uh, Bernadette uh, Gardunio saying, asking, where's Sharky? I don't know, playing some gotcha game or something. 1.054 Alex, 1.14 for Gerald. And Alex about to transition. Gerald already transitions at 1.15. And he is Tetris ready. But couldn't get the Lombard in time. So going to have to burn this down. Takes a triple. 1.18 for Gerald. 1.08 for Alex. So Gerald still with the lead. But this is now getting chipped away as Alex... Is bringing the stack down. Gerald solved the LP's dependency. Ooh, Alex D with a misdrop there with a the Lombard. I don't know if that was a double flip or just a dead drop. But Gerald based on attachers 1.24 has to clean this up a little bit. Nice tuck there from Alex. Based on attachers 1.23 still behind. But only... By less than a Tetris. And the Tetris takes the lead with that Tetris. Joe takes it right back with 1.31. 1.27 for Alex. And we are getting deeper and deeper in the 29 speeds. 1.29 for Alex. 1.31 for Gerald. Who's Tetris ready? Bangs out of Tetris. Takes back the lead now with 61,000 points ahead of Alex. But Alex responds 
with a Tetris of his own. Joe doesn't hit the, the spin. Now with the JP's dependency, couldn't get the JP's in time. Has to hit a 5-tap there with the JP's. Hits the 5-tap. Now needs him to the left side. Needs a JP's or a Lombard. Gets a JP's. This solves his dependency. Now needs to burn this down as quickly as possible because he's running out of time. And has lost the lead. Al has almost lost the lead. But Alex has to burn this down now. 1.38 for Gerald. 1.37 for Alex who's now almost clean but not getting the right pieces to clean this up. And hey, he's at Lombard. Needs up to the left side. Needs something now. Gets a square piece to the left side to try to get some last couple of burns right now. 1.38 for Alex. And that's going to do it. Gerald with 1.4. We'll take the game. And we have it ready from both players. Let's get started with game number three. No, it's game number two. Not game number three. In 3, 2, 1, Tetris. gotta go to sleep someone let me know who wins this good night chaotic thank you for tuning in there we go a bit of oh, okay all right well there you go we have ready from alex though and I'm ready from Gerald. So, all right, let's get started with game number three in three, two, one, Tetris. Well, um, as I was trying to say, wait, hold on, I'm getting interrupt interrupted again. Nick with a $20.40 contribution saying never give up. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And I'm sure the players will appreciate it as well. Um, okay. Well, as I was trying to say, a bit of online facts for these two players. They have both won a previous season of the CTL Championships more than twice. Alex, I believe, has won twice. Gerald has won two or three times. All right, good night, Chaotic, once again. One nineteen right now for Alex. One forty for Gerald. A lot of people rooting for the reverse sweep, or at the very least, the not sweep. Once again, another uh. Set of miss drops for Alex. Gonna cost some efficiency. And a set of for a Tetris. Oh, Gerald with the almost identical Tetris setup, but on the completely opposite side of the board. Symmetry. Welcome to Pinoku. And a dirty touches for Alex. 253. Now 254. Where's the music? Oh, it's there. It's just being slow at building up for some reason. Welcome, uh, Vandy. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hope everybody is doing well tonight. But what's not doing well right now is Alex 
Because he's about to top out if he doesn't get the right set of pieces. Five taps that JP. Oh, goodness gracious. With. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Needs something to the center. Gets a lumbar. Very timely, but it's not over yet. And that will do it. Huh. Well, Gerald will move on to the semifinals. And we'll get a cut of the prize pool money. Boya. Winner moves on to the semifinals and into the prize pool. Let's get started in three, two, one. Petrus. Hello, Christian Alvarez on YouTube. Welcome on in. Our bar with the CTL emotes. And Shake QC with the six bits. Go ding. Thank you so much. Oh, the three, two, one bits. Yes. Love it. Yeah, Price pool pays top four. I don't know if there's an incentive to include top eight. Kingsman is here, so he can, he can let, let us know, but... It's weird because, okay, people might be wondering why there's there's no top 8. Like, into the prize pool. For those of you that are newer here, we don't typically um, get this much into our prize pool. Uh, it's usually under $2,000, which is, uh, even in CTM, if you raise less than $2,000 a month, it'll only be for the top 4. Um, so, this kind of imp uh, unprecedented numbers that we're experiencing right now. Um, but I'm sure we'll figure stuff out. Yeah, when, when Gerald Freeman won in Season 19, I think the prize pool was like $500. So... The veggie dog saying everyone here is watching the pros. Here I am, all pumped, pumped up because I got a PB of three hundred seven k. Well, that's good. GG's to that. If you get three hundred thousand points, that means you're doing really well on the earlier le earlier levels. And who knows? Maybe if you can get more consistent. Um. Your PB will just increase even more. So it's a good start. Definitely not anything to scoff at. Yeah, nice fits there. Gotta love those fits. How many fits do you think we're gonna see in this entire championship? I'm guessing at least a hundred. Read hard, thank you for the follow. Looks like a lot of people are uh voting on Scooty to take this game or the set. The predictions on Twitch. A bit of a online facts here for these two players. Blue Scooty has actually made the finals once in season 22 and unfortunately got swept by Dog right before CCWC 2023. Um, has made the semifinals a number of times. Actually made the semis last season. And Dangler qualified for his first playoffs last season unfortunately lost in the quarterfinals against Gerald Freeman but uh looking to make a bit of a comeback here has definitely up his up this game even more than in the last season and it's Fano thank you for the follow why does s no x next box says Fauna uh because NTC very no good sometime 460 for Scooty, 402 for Dangler. Yeah, you're right, Akira. All PBs are worth celebrating. 
And it is cool that we got the price pool this high for this season. Hopefully we can make that a trend for upcoming seasons, but we'll see. <clears throat> 508 for Scooty, 450 for Dingler. So pretty friendly siege by the looks of it. Um, Dingler, a bit of a drought was formed, but does get the Llama for Tetris. Logstar goes on Twitch saying, It's weird how game scenes like this go. People start comparing themselves to a few top players and then don't feel good about things they should feel good about. Yeah, that's just that's, that's just, just the nature of people. Of how we are. We're just always striving to, the be, to be the best. Um, as long as you don't let it get to you that badly, it's not too big of a deal. But, yeah. Anyway, Dangler at 543 has Scooty in a bit of trouble here. Not really deadly, but it is going to cost a significant amount of efficiency, which Dangler can use to his advantage right now at 566. 561 for Scooty needs a LP piece to accommodate this dependency. Now uses a Lombard to solve this uh, kind of a jagged board that was forming in the center. Going to be okay. Looks like both players are going to transition with uh, over 600k. And Arbaro, uh, oh, hold on. Dangler transitions at 635, but yeah, Arbaro saying, uh, sending the TNP Discord link if you like to um, play and you're a beginner. You can join Tetris for the non-pros. Anybody can join for competitive matches. You do not, there's no requirement. It's just anybody can join, really. Scooty will transition at 618 with a bit of a messy stack. Not messy, but it is going to cost him from scoring any Tetrises on row 0. I have to do some row 2 Tetris setups here. 645 now for Scooty. Dangler level 27, 10. Now 89,000 points in the lead as Scooty has just not been getting the friendliest of pieces for the stack that he has. Uh, Katsugiri, did they just start? Yes, they just started. This is the first match of the first night of the first quarterfinals of first everything. So, welcome in. Dangler gonna do some dependency solves. He needs a Lombard in the center. Now it's 764 as Scooty committing to this road two setup. Papa Petro, thank you for the follow. And ooh, Dangler with the double flip there. But was able to solve this situation as quickly as possible. So gonna cost some burns, but it does take a nice triple and will open up his board gonna be Tetris ready with love in a J piece or a Lombard could be utilized as well but doesn't get either piece so gonna have to close down as well as the drought was forming needs another Lombard for the Tetris Scooty still in the road two set up at 767 so doing a great job at bringing this lead down and is now taking the lead but has to close down as well and it's open right back up on the right side. It's going to be Tetris ready. A bit of a drought is formed for Scooty as Dingler opened up to the right. Well, could he use that Lombard for a Tetris? But he uses another Lombard for a Tetris now at 832. As we are off and running, getting deeper and deeper into the 19 speeds. So, Scooty committing to the center wall. Looks like he's still waiting for the Lombard. Gets a Lombard for a Tetris. We'll love and J-Piece. For the tuck. But doesn't get the right set of pieces. But it is Tetris ready for a dirty center wall. Can he get the Lombard time as Dangler with an 882 with a cleaner board? It's good the dirty Tetris in the center. 933. With this next Tetris, Dangler will get the max out as Scooty still at level 26. Dangler can utilize that Lombard. A bit of trouble here. Nice five tap there on the left side with the Lombard. Gets a Lombard for a Tetris for the max out on level 28. 1.09 or 1.01. Excuse me. Scooty will get a Tetris and the max out as well. 1.05 for Dangler. 1.08 now can get one more Tetris before the 29 speeds. Scooty can score two more Tetrises. Gets one Tetris and has two lines to burn. Dangler waiting for the Lombard, getting dried but finally gets the Lombard for a Tetris now with a 1.12. And here we go, first 29 transition. Dangler closes down his right well, but it opens it right back up and closes it and opens it up again. Nice 5 tap there with a TP, with a, yeah, with a TP, gets a Tetris. Now with a 1.17, Scooty, bit of trouble here, gets the Lombard for a Tetris, but needs to survive this. Needs the right set of pieces, nice triple, opens up his right well, but still in a lot of trouble. 
And dang, look kind of hangs that square piece on the left side, but bangs on a Tetris down with a 1.2, one, one, two, one two and a half Tetris is in the lead above Scooty as Scooty's doing a great job of surviving this. Dangler's still alive though. Would love an LRJ, but hangs the L piece and hangs another J piece and we'll top out with 1.22. So Scooty, 1.227 is the score to beat. That's all the time in the world. Just line this out. He has about 60 lines to go before level 39, which is going to be our line cap. Oh, but Scooty hangs the lombar. Needs another lombar or just something to burn this down. Nice J piece to the left side, but it doesn't get the right set of pieces to burn it down. And we'll top out at 1.19. Dangler will take game number one. We have ready from both players, so let's not waste any time here and get started with game number two. In three, two, one, Tetris. Shake QC once again with the three, two, one bits. We're starting off with a bit of a situation here. Has to create a couple of holes in a stack. Looks like Scooty's next box is just glitching. Oh, NTC. You gotta love it. Yeah, both players in a bit of a situation. Neither can capitalize on the other's dig. Let's see. Did I miss anything in chat? Uh, Peek is so much better at talking fast than I am. Uh, I'm better at talking fast, but I'm worse at talking normally. <laughs> so. Nice survival here from both players. Scooty is clean now at 82,000 points. Oh, is this Gerudo Valley? I assume this is Gerudo Valley that's playing. Just gauging it off of uh, Kyoshi. Pro yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is white by audio. Listen, I put white by audio on the first on the first track of the playlist. I fulfilled my quota. Also, don't pay attention to Scooty's drop counter. Uh, he is not in the middle of a fifty-one piece drought. <laughs> Here's saying love the music. Glad, I'm glad that people are loving the tracks. Uh, yeah, I made a new playlist for the the championships, but I'm only gonna use it twice. Heretic Eyeless, thank you for the follow. Two sixty eight for Scooty, two oh five for Dangler. Is it a Spotify play? No, it's not. What I do is I basically rip all the audio or all the tracks from YouTube and I uh, basically make my own playlist. Yeah, imagine the 70 piece drought. This actually reminds me, like, I don't know if it was last season or earlier this season where. Somebody got a uh, weird calibration issue, and just the drought counter kept ticking for like a hundred lot, a hundred pieces, and it just kept going. It might have actually been the finals of last season.
Oh yeah, 70 piece droughts are I wouldn't say common, but uh if if you played Tetris long enough, you've definitely had a 70 piece drought at one point. 387 for Scooty, 346 for Dangler. I guess now it's time to uh talk about Matcherino again. If you'd like to help contribute to the prize pool, you can do so with Match Reno. Uh, this is kind of a mini incentive or a mini goal. Um, we've yet to reach $3,000 like ever in any season that we've had a prize pool in. We've never reached $3,000 and we're only $282 from reaching that goal. So any amount is greatly appreciated and it all it all go to our players as as well so anyway scooty some complications in his stack and we got to do some burns 486 for dangler 473 for scooty Scooty will transition with a 483, so kind of a suffer end on the 18 for Scooty. Yeah, imagine a 100 piece drought. Yeah. Then we'll transition at 557. So, Dangler looking good to potentially take game two, but we still have plenty of mat plenty of uh room. In this game to score more points. Dangler in a bit of trouble right now. Would love an L piece. Gets the L piece to solve the dependency. Nice long bar for the flat placement. And, uh, Tetris for Dangler at 635. So Scooty actually doing a good job here at maintaining efficiency with Dangler. Slash donate. I don't know what we have. What is our commands on YouTube? Do we have a Matrino command? Does it work? I don't think it works. It does. Yeah, it works. Cool. But it's for season 24. Why is it still for season 24? Stop it. Ooh, Scooty, a bit of trouble here. Gets a Lombard for column 2 Tetris. Here's the price for season 25. Don't go to that link though. That's that's season twenty four. Use use the one that I sent. Sorry about that. Anyway, six eighty two for Scooty, who's still burning. Is set up for a dirty Tetris, but I had to close it down. Dangler with a Tetris now eight ten three, now four and a half Tetris is in the lead as Scooty is still burning. Gets a Lombard for a left wall Tetris. Now it's going to be Lombard depending on two separate sides of his board. Dangler is going to be Tetris right now with hole in his stack, but still fairly clean enough to where this should be an easy solve. Nice double and a single to open up this stack. Scooty just going aggressive right now. Set up for a dirty center wall Tetris once again. And gets another dirty center wall Tetris at 777. All things considered, he is potential for a max out into level 29 what is this level 27 yeah it is level 27 well there you go that was a very quick 26 on scooty's side and scooty with a dirty tetris once again it's gonna need to do a significant amount of 29 play if he wants to take this game spangler already with 1.05 and counting Bangs on a Tetris. And Scooty can score two more Tetrises before the 29 speeds. He's trying to go perfect, but man, this is a very messy stack. Not really the friendliest of pieces. And a clutch T-spin, but needs a Lombard now. Needs another one. He needs it now. Get to the Lombard for a Tetris now with 962. And now needs to survive this. 
Let's see what he can do here on the 29 speeds. Scooty goes for the dirty Tetris. Can he get the lawnmower in time? But does have to bring this down. Tries to build up with Tetris once again. Going aggressive with these plays. As Daniel with 1.12. And Dangler opens up his right. Well, going to be Tetris ready. Banks out of Tetris 1.16. Scooty with a max out. As we're off and running in the 29 speeds. Once again, level 39 line cap is in place. Scooty is going to be Tetris ready momentarily. And is going to be Tetris ready. Needs a lawnmower now. And gets a lawnmower for a Tetris as Dangler has to do some burns right now. Which is going to give Scooty the opportunity to try to catch back up. Or chip away at the lead. Scooty doing a great job of maintaining efficiency right now. As Dangler still burning. But does bring that a Tetris. Now with 1.26. Scooty with a Tetris 1.14. Only two and a half Tetrises behind. Nisa JP's, but utilizes, utilizes a lombard to solve the dependency. Now gonna be Tetris ready once again. Nice up to the left side to build up his board a little bit. Gets a lombard for a Tetris and a T piece for the flat burns. Dangler was in a lot of trouble, but got the right side of pieces and a Tetris for Dangler 1.36. Scooty with 1.24, still behind by over 100 stats points, but this is only two and a half Tetrises and change. And Scooty's just going ham on the efficiency, but it's still not enough. Needs to keep going and is running out of time. Has 26 lines to go for level 39. Gets another Tetris 1.38. Now he's only less than a Tetris behind Dangler. Scooty is Tetris ready. Got to one for a Tetris still behind by 10,000 points as Dangler still burning. But he is running out of time now, level 37. 1.48 for Dangler. 1.43 for Scooty. Dangler is going to miss up a bunch of pieces. But Scooty gets along for a Tetris. And Daniel's gonna top out with 1.48. So Scooty needs a couple more birds. One more bird. Just needs one more bird. And we'll take the game. The comeback from Scooty. And already from Scooty. So let's get started with game number three. In three, two, one. Tetris. Shake QC, 3, 2, 1 bits. For the readies. <laughs> Bro is dangling. The real golden one saying, let's go El Jefe Legendary Scooty. Kenton for real, thank you for the follow. Or Kenton FR. I don't know why I don't know why I went with for real. It was just FR. 47,000 points for Scooty, 46,000 for Dangler. God, this is the most professional I've sounded in like years. I don't like it. I need to start scuffing it up a little bit. Ison, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Get Sunny to commentate. Oh my god. You know, l last time I, I uh, restreamed a match, uh, somebody on YouTube um, uh, got upset because I was uh, dropping some F bombs. And uh, they were watching in the middle of work. And uh, I'm just imagining if I co commentated with Sonny, that poor fella would have a heart attack. Two ten for Scooty, one eighty nine for Dangler. Giddy Pig, four thirty five. Thank you for the follow. Sounds like they should have been wearing headphones to me. I, I don't really know. What profet or what job would be appropriate to watch a stream in the middle of work and not wear your headphones? And dangling a bit of a situation here and solves lumber dependency.
uh, Arbaro. You, you want to know what the, the what the weirdest like backhanded, not compliment, but like backhanded insult was? So I uploaded a short like a few months ago uh, where I was commentating, and one of the people in the comments said. The guy commentating sounds exactly like like I would expect somebody who plays Tetris would sound like. What does that even mean? <laughs> Three seventy two for Scooty, two fifty six for Dangler. <laughs> you ever just listen to somebody? I'm just like, yeah, this guy plays Tetris. Now, Scooty over 100,000 points ahead of Dangler. Do I clear my throat a lot? I do. I don't know why, but... Dude, I promise I don't smoke. I just... I just have it. 486 for Scooty now, 349 for Dangler. So Scooty with a very good game right now. And Dangler, still potential for a 550 transition. So respectable game, but Scooty with a monster pace at the moment. It's exciting. That's why you sound like that. I guess so. Akira saying means you sound cool. I guess so. Yeah, we can go with that if I if I want to cope. Hey, shout out to working at home. There's nothing nothing more relaxing than working from home. Unless you, you just don't work at all. I guess that would be more relaxing. Anyway, Scooty will not get the seven hundred K after that set of burns. Jasmine, I don't know if I'm hungry, but when when I read your laugh is as iconic as Vandy's, I, I read your laugh is as iconic as Wendy's. And, uh, I could go for a Wendy's right now, not gonna lie. 631 for Scooty. 440 for Dangler. I believe that was Nico with a $5 contribution. Dangler transition with a 489, so... Polar opposite of what we saw in game two, where Scooty had the really low transition while Dangler was killing it in the earlier levels. And for those of you wondering about Scooty's next box, it's just calibration issues. So, unfortunate, but it is what it is. 741 for Scooty, 519 for Dangler, in a bit of trouble right now. Needs a Lombar. Actually, needs a Lombar now. Got the Lombard right in the nick of time. Opens up his right well. Can still survive this. Nice double and a single to open up the well. TP's on the left side. Is Tetris ready? And bangs on the Tetris at 559. But it's going to be 213,000 points behind Scooty. Both players experiencing the same drought right now. 593 for Dangler, who's still six and a half Tetris behind. And 36 pieces and counting. And it's still counting. So we'll see if this actually pays, plays a factor. Dangler with a great manage, drought management. Bangs out of Tetris 629. And so does Scooty. Hefty drought there. But Dangler still alive and kicking, looking to get a, a bit of redemption after that Game 2 victory from Scooty. Oh, Dangler. A oh, bit of indecision there by the looks of it. Needs a Lombard in the center. Gets a Lombard to solve this dependency. 
That's not going to be a Tetris. She's going to be a triple. 713 now versus 955 for Scooty at level 26. So, Dangler. Potential for a one-off into 29. Dangler will love a J piece on the left side. Utilizes the Lombard to solve the dependency. And Scooty already with, with a max out and counting only at level 27. So here we go. 1.09 for Scooty. 900,000 for Dangler. Can set up one more Tetris before level 29. And here we go. Dangler transitions at level 29. 945. Definitely going to need to do some work here in the 29 speeds if he wants to take this game. But not getting the Lombard time. That Lombard's not showing up. Nice placement there from Dangler. Scooty in a bit of trouble right now. Would love a flat L. Needs a flat L. Zips that 5 tap with the T piece. Dangler in a bit of trouble. Burns this down with the Lombard on the right side. Solves the Lombard dependency on Comp 2, but hangs the L piece. And Scooty is still alive with 1.17. Dangler already the max out. Scooty just going safe, not trying to go too crazy on the efficiency, but does bank that attack. Just 1.23 for Scooty. 1.03 for Dangler, still behind by almost 200,000 points. And Scooty is going to bring this lead even higher. After that, Tetris, 1.27 at level 32. Dangler's going to be hoping for an early top out from Scooty for some easier access to this game. And Mist drops that as ZP's bangs out of Tetris, 1.09 for Dangler, but needs to survive this as quickly as possible. Nice tuck there with a the Z-piece. Now needs him to the left side. Hits the 5 tap there with a the J-piece on the left. It's gonna be Tetris ready. Bangs out of Tetris. 1.15 for Dangler. 1.35 for Scooty. Still ahead by 200,000 points. Needs to keep this lead as long as possible. Dangler running out of time, but is still in the game. Bit of a drop tier forward for Dangler. At the worst time, Bangs out of Tetris, but could this be too late? Five taps that long bar on the left. Is still alive. Scooty with a 1.42. Dangler with 1.25, so this is still not insurmountable. But after that Tetris, this could be too late for Dangler. Dangler bangs out of Tetris 1.31. Scooty has to do some burns, but this might just be curtains at this point. Dangler hops out with a 1.4. And, and Scooty will take game number three. Let's see if we can get a level 40. Let's see it. Let's see it. Doesn't hit the tap there with TPs, but still. 1.49 for Scooty. One game away from moving on to the semifinals. Here we from Scooty. Let's get started with game number four. In three, two, one. Tetris. <laughs> Loading first time chatter saying not even 1.5. Actually, bad. Robbie, thank you for the follow, and Snowy Pony. 